Sheep, 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 sheep. Here you go. Here. Sheep, 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 sheep. It's gonna be an exciting day for those sheep. We're putting the luchadors in with them. Are you guys ready for your mate? That is a year and a half in the wait, almost a year and a half in the waiting. Maybe that's a little extreme. Maybe a year and a quarter, something like that. We've been moving those loose. They coming in with you guys today. That is if we can get them in the trailer. Unlike the ewes, the luchadors are very unhandled. Jonah, come here. You're gonna stand at that corner. And when the when they go in, you should be able to push this to that and undo this carabiner and then shut shut the trailer. I want everybody else away from the trailer and over where mom is or grandma is because they're afraid of us. We need to use that to our advantage and spook them this way. The trailer needs to be the least frightening place so they'll actually go in there. The wizard? Hey. I mean, the uh, I cannot believe how big this book is. I don't know what I was thinking. What was, I was your initial impression? I think I was thinking it would be like this thick. I guess I didn't tell you my, it's a big book. My Well, I saw that it was heavy, but when I pulled it out, I was like, oh my word, this is yeah. gigantic. You know, you might say it's pricey for a book. Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, it's not. When you think about the how thick this is and just how many plans are in there, I mean, one plan, if implemented, is worth the worth the book. Oh, 100%. So let's pick one and let's implement one of those plans. Because you and I have tried to imp to replicate yep. this. I want to see the brooder and I want to see how far off we were. <laughs> in the very beginning. Oh, that's right. We, we looked at a picture in the book in the very beginning. Oh, see, like here's a, work, a, a cattle shoot. A corral. A working yep, for, cattle shoot. That's amazing. For gathering the cows. Hers was like gigantic. So we tried to build that based on pictures. And we did not do a very good job, I don't think. <laughs> Are you going to build this? No. No, we're not going to build we it. We tried. have built it. But ours didn't have a floor. Ah, that's why we got the snake. That's, <laughs> that's why we had we built this? Uh, a snake. We'll have to eat. go back to old vlogs and look, because like we yeah. were completely off. No more guessing, guys. No more looking at Joel Salatin's book. I'm saying, Trying to figure out the plan. Right? They're right there. Hey, have you looked at the Ford yet, Rebecca? Let me look. Oh my god. There was a little it. surprise in there for me. Oh! <laughs> there he is. I'm, in, I'm pictured in this book. That's crazy. Oh, no. And this is my story. This. This is the story and how this book is relevant. That was Rebecca's action reaction to this amazing book. Here, I look awful orange right here. Ooh yeah, look at that. Okay. That's Rebecca's reaction to this amazing book. Oh my word. I, I hope you guys can feel the energy of this. Had a perfect day shooting Joel, uh, giving us tours of his amazing structures. Him opening this and seeing this book for the first time that, gosh, the co-author, Chris Slattery, has spent 2,000 hours on. Guys, we're going to pick a plan. These are how to build Joel Salatin style infrastructure. Scale up, scale down exactly step by step we're gonna pick one and we're gonna do it this week uh that's gonna be exciting let's talk about that more at the end of this show but look an email from joel you know if you order the first i'm giving away signatures to the first thousand people to order this joel has agreed to sign one thousand of these he, he actually emailed me this morning and said Hey, I've already signed 800. <laughs> He's on his way. I haven't even sold 800 yet. But as of this, we hadn't officially launched it, but we were officially launched now. I think we were at like 420 something. He signed 800, plus he got Chris Slattery. He didn't promise it. You guys didn't know about it, I didn't know about it. He also got the co-author to sign. Just another bonus for the first thousand people. I'll leave the link for that down in the description. You ready to go do chores? Okay. I noticed when I went to Joel Salatin's, he already had his pasture posse and his hot dog. This is my pasture posse. They're two, three days behind the cows, just like Joel does, to stir cow manure, looking for fly larvae, spreading the nutrients. Thank you guys for your service all summer long. We have had less flies this year than any other year, and I think it's because 
We've consistently been doing this now for two years. Grab them their water for the day. That's just in case they don't want to step up on the stool and drink it. And it's no wonder Joel puts them up, even though it's like, it's not even winter winter yet, but I noticed, I don't know, three, maybe four weeks ago, our chickens stopped scratching cow pies. So why'd they stop doing that? Well, the flies, the flies. I don't know if they die off as it gets colder or if they hibernate. I don't know what flies do, but they were no longer there, and so the chickens are no longer scratching the baddies. I think it's like, okay, they're not doing their job in the pasture. Sure, they're manuring a little bit. That's adding some, but what if we, what if they were composting instead? Maybe they'd be a little more valuable there. So that's what Joel does. He puts them in a high tunnel. I guess when the flies go away until the spring, I'm, I'm voting that's what we do. And Joel's got plans for that system in his book. And we were already heading that way. I think that we could figure out how to do the walls, how to do the water, all that kind of stuff from his book. What do you think, guys? That sound good? Yeah. Here's the deal. I wanna build something from Joel's book. I'm already doing, we're already doing that and it's time we could get these chickens off the pasture. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm voting for. I mean, we'll look through the book to make sure there's not something more pressing for us that we could build, but I think that's it. Of course, we want to talk to the beautiful one. We've changed our grazing route, so it makes it easier for the shed. Now we're gonna include this log cabin yard in our grazing pattern. So we actually, we're actually gonna gain a paddock. There's not enough here now, so we're gonna have to supplement with hay, but there you go. That's land they've never grazed. Come right through here and through there to our next little pasture way over there. In the past, we came from this pasture down, started grazing that, hit that, and came back. This is more of a loop. We got a haze going. We got a good bit of burning it up cooking show. The boys are helping. They made cheese quesadillas. We've got eggs, sausage. Exciting. Grandma and Grandpa are even coming down to help with this luchador move. This is monumental. This is exciting. How do you think they're going to react? They're probably going to be... They're going to be interesting. They're probably going right? to be running. I think they're just going to smell each other. I don't know I what think the they're going to run. Yeah, I don't know what the ram's going to... I don't know what the ram's going to do. Those, that, that ram and wither have been in that 16 by 16 age. Move twice a day for over a year. You're gonna run so much. I think they're gonna be ready for a change of scenery. Yeah. I, think I, think be be <laughs> I want you guys to see this. This how you're gonna cook? Well, this is how I am. Cooking. What's the matter? <laughs> I felt this is hurting. Snowball getting to you? I kind of have a headache too, but um, I'm uh making caramel sauce. Very important thing. Being pregnant at 41 is very different than pregnant at 27, isn't it? Oh yeah, so I was pregnant with 27 with Jonah, and then um, Gideon, I was 36. Yeah, you're waddling already. Thanks for I hope to get a shot of that later. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for pointing. Make sure you won't miss it. Thanks for pointing. Waddling at it. Are you even halfway there? I am, I'm halfway. Okay, yeah. yeah. Little, you get the halfway little. waddle. All right, we've got our roasted chicken, veggies. Whoa, that means, hey, that's all us. Carrots, onions, that is. no, the potatoes aren't us, but chicken. And you're making candy. Yeah, I am. Oh my, Snowball's what got a sweet baby? tooth. He sure does. For a caramel. Hey kids, let's do this. Let's get these lucha, yes, that's so excited. Let's get the luchadors yeah, in with the U's. What is fast code? Pretty little girl. No. Luchadors. Uh, luchadors. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> Mr. Brown, you ready to do this? Uh -huh. You guys move everything out of the way while the track is My idea is to get them in the trailer and haul them over to the use. Oh! Oh! She got me! Ray got me. I must be the bad guy. No. I must be I the bad guy, you. huh, Teddy? Teddy! Oh. oh. No. I was reading in 
a book last night. I, I can't really review this book. I just started it, but I, I think I can quote it. It's from the it's from Zen, the art of bi bi motorcycle maintenance. It said we made good time, with the emphasis being on good rather than time. So too often I'm in a hurry and I forget to have fun, and I try to make good time with the emphasis on time and not good. So pulling around with the kids a bit. Sure, it's slowing us down, but what's the point? We want everybody to have a good time, right? Snap that together. Wow. Those are the most scary things to us. Scary? As I know this door opens this way. Does the trailer door open this way? If it does, we could kind of come in at this angle. So if we back the trailer right there, there would not be a gap. Promise, keep coming, keep coming. I've rode up next to it right here. Mama said do not break this it. This is gonna work. This gate opens this way. Then we have a chute in here. The, the question is, can you have a good time and make good time at the same time? I'm doing my best. Hey, are you guys ready for this or what? You're gonna be scared to death, I know. But it's gonna be the happiest day of your life. It's the happiest day of your life, guys. Nacho there on the left is our breeding ram. And the Escalito there on the right is our wither. He's a castrated male. He's pretty much just a buddy for this guy. That's it. He's just a buddy so he doesn't have to be alone. They fear being alone more than they fear death. Wait, oh, 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 right there, guys. Well, that, that didn't work. We tried, you know, it's gonna, that was gonna be the easiest way. So we're gonna build a funnel. I think we can loosen this gate pretty easy. No, this gate's just leaning. So that can have a good idea. We put a wire on that to hinge this. We'll shut them in once they go. Yeah, I see it. Jonah. Look. Jonah. I know they want to get out more than they want to get in. Oh, that's, well, that's true. Rebecca's going to distract the ewes, but not too far, Rebecca, because we want the rams to see them and come after them and not like out somewhere. <laughs> hey, we got in there. We did bottom out right there with the end. Did I destroy the trailer? You got the gate there. Josiah's got the gate here. Here's the moment. Are you guys ready for this? A year and a half. Yeah, here go. They're like, what's going on? Oh look at the look at Nacho. Do we already have one in heat? <coughs> oh my gosh.
She's worried he wants to fight. No, this is just the pecking order. Yeah. Yes. It's just the dance. He hadn't got to run. Yeah. Yes. Look, Ryder and Dixie are like, ah. Not in a straight line. I know, Ryder. Nacho has left Ryder alone. And now who's he on? Yeah. Hey, well, at least it's working, right? At least yeah. he's, yeah, at least he's interested because yeah. he was asking, like, acting like Escalito, we'd be in trouble. Look at this beautiful day. We're gonna go up on the neighbor's property and check out the leaves. Chicken turned out lovely. Did the, did the potato get cooked enough? I think so. I like it. It's a one dish cooked meal, veggies and chicken. I'll just eat the chicken. You guys were grabbing the veggies. And it's just one dish, dirty. So I talked to the beautiful one. <laughs> Going through my book. This is amazing. And here, let me get this. Let's get you guys off of this. And Come look at it from my angle. Winter hoop houses for chickens. I've already got the hoop house. I've been wanting to do this. This is exactly how. From doors to how to keep the chickens off of the side, how to do the bedding, materials to use. Just this, just this idea to put feed outside in a barrel. We, I can scale down, that's like a thousand gallon steel tank, but food grade barrel out there with a lid on, it's a no brainer, less to walk with feed. And then look, look at this layout example. And then plans for every single thing that's in there. That is a waterer cover. Oh my word, that is a game changer. I could build a waterer cover over my uh, Everflow waterer and we'll have water ever flowing, never freezing never getting dirty. Now, I won't build mine exactly like this because I'm doing Everflow, but these the specs on how big to put those slats, not too big, so the chickens get in and get, maybe get stuck, not too little to where the chickens can't get in. I just, I love it. Josiah, you ready to move the chicks, chicks to the greenhouse this week? Mm -hmm. Yes. And guys, that could totally be scaled down. You don't have to have that big old one like that. I did this a long time ago in one of my greenhouses. Rebecca, do we got any pictures of that? I have one I know of. Okay, could you get that to me? Not this minute, but by, t by, by this time, by t this time. There it is. So guys, just this waterer, I think is, this is an expensive book, but it's also a very high quality book. And it's 10% off right now. I'm doing a sale. 
up until Sunday. Got lots of bonuses. I encourage you guys to check it out. Link down in the description or polyfacedesigns.com.